Namaskaram. I am happy to present this product with a selection of the Bharatanatyam items performed by me. The art of Bharatanatyam is one of the most beautiful and unique dance forms that have come down to us through the ages. Sage Bharata, who wrote Natya Shastra, the oldest treatise on theatre, traced the origin of classical arts to the gods of the Hindu pantheon. Art in India was always envisioned as a means to spiritual enlightenment and not just entertainment. The art of Bharatanatyam has enriched my life in many ways. Ever since I was a little girl, I had a passion for dance. Thanks to my grandmother, Srimati Yadigiri Devi, I was trained under eminent gurus like Dandayadapani Pillai, Varvu Ramya Pillai, Mailapur Gauriya Mal, and Tanjavur Kittapa Pillai. Kittapa Pillai was the direct descendant of the four illustrious brothers, namely the Tanjavur Quartet, who lived in the 18th century. Melaprapti is a flourish played on the drums, the Mridangam in particular, as a prelude to a Bharatanatyam recital. The Swarajati in a Bharatanatyam recital forms the central piece with equal emphasis on Ritta, pure dance, and Abhinaya, mime. The basic emotion of this item is Sringara, love. Kana Avalanen in Ragam Kambodhi, Talam Rupakam by Tanjavur Quartet. This is a devotional song in praise of Devi, the mother goddess. She is the epitome of Sringara, love, who bestows prosperity on her worshippers. She is like the lotus of divine music, shedding sweet and intoxicating nectar. She dwells in the heart of Shiva and is worshipped by the celestials. The poet offers his verses as flowers at her lotus feet. Sringara Lahiri in Ragam Nilambari, Adi Talam, composed by Mysore Lingaraja Aras.
The shlokam describes Krishna dancing in the lanes of Vrindavan. Adorned in silken robes and a crown of peacock feathers, he dances with Radha and her friends to the rhythm of drums. Bye. Uh -huh. 